Hello, I recently did a demonstration of learning infrared codes with a USB UIRT device and I'm now going to do the same thing, uh, although a bit briefer, using the Global Cache iTAC device. Uh, this is a, a Wi-Fi enabled infrared transceiver and the uh, learning port is a pinhole back here so I'll be uh, putting remotes there and, and pressing buttons to learn the codes and uh, this is the for, for the demonstration I just have the blaster positioned here and hopefully it'll be able to reach the, the fan, the TV and the Onkyo which are the remotes that I'll be testing so this is the fan remote and the TV remote and my Onkyo stereo remote so I will begin by uh, having a quick look at our maps which is where we'll be storing the codes the map editor which as you can see is empty we've got no tables so we will be creating those tables as we go along I want to learn buttons for my television I want to learn buttons for my TV I want to learn buttons for my TV ready to learn buttons for your TV learn button power ready press power power button save test that button learn button volume up ready press volume up volume up button save test that button press that button four times I want to learn buttons for my fan ready to learn buttons for your fan learn button power ready press power power button save test that button learn button speed ready press speed speed button save press that button four times learn button timer ready press timer timer button save press that button two times I want to learn buttons for my stereo ready to learn buttons for your stereo learn button power learn button power ready press power power button save test that button learn button volume up ready press volume up volume up button save learn button mute ready press mute mute button save Test that button. Vox off. So as you can see, it works perfectly. Um, we've created a table for each of the devices. And you can see that we have, for example, the fan has these nice short little compressed global cache codes. And uh, now we can use these using the map feature in our macros or we can export them to payload XML as I demonstrated in the other video. So uh, stay tuned to the forum. I will be uploading some sample XML along with the new version of Vox Commando that makes all of this possible. Thanks for watching.